Hi guys, we're on our way to the Camargue. Uh, I'm still on holiday and we're going to uh, a small place in the Camargue. Now, Camargue, Camargue, where is it known for? Well, there's several things. There's the wild horses, um, it's the flamingos, but it's also the fleur de sel. So the special salt that you put on your dishes at the end of your dishes. You shouldn't cook with that. It's not the normal cooking salt, but it's a special salt. It's also very expensive. And why is it that expensive, that fleur de sel? Well, very, it, it tastes, of course, very good. It's a different taste. It's melt in your mouth but anyway why is it so um, why is it so um, expensive well there's three reasons first of all is because it's very rare there are only a couple of places where you can really get that fleur de sel and the Camargue is one of those places the second uh, reason is because it takes a lot of manual labor to get it to subtract all that salt because you have to wait until the a hot summer days uh, that it evaporates uh, the yeah the, the, the sea salt it, the sea will evaporate and you've got this thin layer and it has to be collected manually and very delicately um, and that's a lot of manual labor so it's very expensive and the third reason is I bet that the branding is also very good because a lot of these famous cooks um, are really into fleur de sel, so I think that that is very good. Now you're probably wondering, oh my god, what is she babbling all about fleur de sel? What does this have to do with my business? Well, actually, it has everything to do with your business because you two, you should um, be. You shouldn't be a commodity. There's three things that we can actually learn from this fleur de sel example. First of all, how can you be rare? How can you uh, avoid being a commodity um, so that you can really increase your prices? The second one is, and that's a very important one too, um, whenever you work with your clients on an individual basis, one-on-one, -on -one, you should increase your prices. There should be another pricing uh, when you work with people individually than when you work with them in group. And I meet a lot of consultants and coaches, etc. And their fee is just a fee, it's, a, it's, it's always the same fee. And that's a pity because if you work manually, if you work individually with your uh, clients, you should have higher prices. And then the third lesson learned is, of course, that branding and personal branding is so important. So my question for you guys and, 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 your, uh, and my assignment today is to think about it. How can you avoid being a commodity? Think about it and share your thoughts here beneath in this group area. So I hope this, uh, this made you think a little bit about your pricing and about your branding and about not being a commodity. And I talk to you later. Bye-bye.